Welcome to Kanama Cooks. Here is a perfect monsoon recipe for a spicy soup made with country chicken. This natakoli soup works wonders for the cold and the flu. Here is how to do it. Take a pan and add in some ghee. Add in a teaspoon each of cumin seeds, black pepper, fennel seeds, coriander seeds and some dried red chilies saute on a low flame till golden the spices should slowly change color and become aromatic once the spices are roasted remove from the pan and let it cool a bit add the roasted and cooled spices to a small mixer jar or a spice grinder Grind this mixture to a powder. Pulse several times to grind the masala powder. Our masala powder is now ready. Set aside. Take a pressure cooker and add in the chicken bones. If you want a meaty rasam, add some breast or thigh pieces along with the chicken bones. Add a little turmeric powder and some salt. Add about a liter of water to the cooker. Cover the cooker and add in the whistle weight. Cook for 10 minutes on high flame. Ignore the number of whistles. After the set time, wait for the pressure from the cooker to settle naturally. Open the cooker and remove the meat bones to a bowl. When it's cool enough to handle, shred the chicken meat and set aside. Discard the bones. Now let's make the rasam. Let's heat some ghee in a kadai. Add in the cumin seeds and some curry leaves. Sauté for a few seconds. Add in the chopped onion and sauté till the onions are soft. About two to three minutes on medium flame. Add in the chopped tomatoes. Add some salt at this stage and mix everything well to combine. Cover the pan with the lid and cook on a low flame till the tomatoes are nicely cooked and mushy. At this stage add in the ground masala powder. Saute for a few seconds. Now add in our shredded chicken and mix everything well to combine. Add in our strained chicken stock. Check for seasoning at this stage and add some salt if necessary. Let the rasam simmer for about 3 to 4 minutes for the flavors to blend. Finally, sprinkle some black pepper powder and some coriander leaves. Our chicken rasam is now ready. Serve hot as a soup or with rice as a rasam. Thank you so much for watching and until next time, it's Suguna signing off and happy cooking. Bye bye.